Full gateway access on the DSTAR network is a two-part process. First, you must register your call sign. Using your favorite web browser, go to dstarinfo.com. Hover your cursor over the Repeater Lists button and click Standard Repeater List from the displayed options. Next, select the geographical area from the pull-down list displayed. As an example, I will choose the Western USA. The website displays a list of all D-Star repeaters in the chosen geographical area, along with the cities in which they are located. Also shown are the modules on which each repeater operates. Find the D-Star repeater nearest you on the list that has the Register link and has US root listed in the directory field, in this example, KI6WZX. You can click on the Info link to learn more about the repeater. Here, we can see the repeater is operated by the Keller Peak D-Star Club. We can also see a picture of the repeater site, the system's current operating status, and even the weather conditions. Let's close this information tab and go back to the repeater list. Next, click on the register link. A new page opens. We recommend you bookmark this page because you will need to return to it later. If you were already registered on this repeater, you could enter your username and password to add or edit your gateway registration information. New DSTAR gateway users should click on the register button. Begin the registration process by clicking Yes to the user agreement. Next, enter in your call sign. This must be an uppercase. Type your name in the name box as it appears on your FCC amateur radio license. Type in your email address in the next box. and choose a password for this gateway registration site. Confirm the password and don't forget it. You will need it later. Double check your work and click OK. Click OK once more and your registration will be submitted. A system administrator will review your gateway registration and send a confirmation email to the address you gave during the registration application earlier. Click OK to finish the registration part of the DSTAR gateway. If you don't receive an email confirmation within a few days, you can try to log back onto the same gateway system using your call sign in uppercase and your password. If your registration has not yet been approved, you will see an error message. Be patient, you will be approved soon. After receiving your approval email, go back to the DSTAR Gateway registration page you bookmarked earlier. Enter your call sign in uppercase and your password, then click Login. Your gateway registration will not be complete until you enter your personal information by clicking this link at the top right of the screen. First, double check your name and email addresses are correct. Next, click on the checkbox to the left of the number one. In the box labeled initial, type in one space. Nothing will appear in the box, but you must type a single space in the box. Leave the RPT box blank. Click in the next box over under PC name. Type in lowercase your call sign, a hyphen, and the type of radio you will be using. 
for example, a 2820, or in this case, an ID31A. If you are using an ICOM ID1, be sure to write the IP address shown, as you will need to configure a network connection on your PC. Double check everything, and then click the Update button. Click OK when asked if you are sure, and you will see confirmation that processing was completed. Click OK and log out of the registration page. Congratulations! You are now registered for full gateway access to the DSTAR system and can use any DSTAR radio to contact other DSTAR users locally and around the world. 